welcome back to our pure data tutorial so this is the last exercise we have completed by using the external patch called slow move so at this point let's have a look of what inside this particular patch called slow move you can see that it's a kind of things that look similar to the original patch you have written in any one of the exercise so one of those differences you can notice is there are a number of objects we haven't come across before so those are the inlet and the outlet objects so the inlets actually define the number of inlet this particular object slow move has. For example, if you take a look at those area, we have one, two, three, and four. So we have this four inlet, one, two, three, and four. And the order of appearance that you create those inlets uh, matters. So that means the first one you create will be the first inlet. The second one you create will be the second one similar to inlet we have the outlet if you take a look of the slow move over here you have the first one and the second outlet and at the same time we have the first and the second outlet each one of them denotes the x and y position you would like to send out from the slow move objects and those define the interface so that means how you can interact with this slow move patch by putting in some input and then expecting some output from this particular patch so within the patch those are the common things we have come across before for example the trigger objects the flow objects the arithmetic plus the number box and the other trigger with the minus division and send and receive over here so at this point I tried to use a very brief way to explain a little bit the operation of this particular patch so the function the key function of this particular patch is to slow down the movement of the motion for example when we have the motion detection we detect the position change of the objects in front of the camera and say for example if the original position is at point number zero at the last frame and in the next frame is come to point number five so the objects the graphics and that we need to pull in our case will move from point number zero to point number five in one single move so this is the one without the use of the slow move or the smooth command we have learned in the previous exercise so in order to achieve um, small slow and smooth operation we make use of this form of delay so the point is we perform a calculation say the new location number five so we minus by using this particular patch the existing location which is number zero and then divide it by a magic number five which means we would like to use five frame in order to go from the position zero to five and after we divide it and we'll send it back to this particular area called the vx v denotes for example is kind of meaningful variable we are going to use is the velocity in the x direction and this particular construct we're going to explain a little bit is a form of variable or storage you can maintain in in a PD patch so normally in a lot of programming language we expect something like X or Y or Z which indicate the name of a variable where you can store a value over there but in pure data you don't have anything like x y z where you can put a value over there so all you have is some form of number box and 
the number box will change immediately. So we need to do, for example, if you want to keep something persistent in the storage, you use something like the float. So float is actually is the number. So we have come across, for example, integer and float in the previous exercise. So we make use of the float to maintain a number. And by using this feedback form, so you can see the output of the flow will go to the input of a plus. And the output of a plus will go back to the float again. So we have a very short demonstration of how this one is working later. So I create a new patch, which is just for demonstration. So I call it explanation. For this explanation, I try to have a look of this particular form of writing your patch. So I introduce an object called float, so which is essentially a number. So it's come with two inlets, the first one and the second one. So if you pass a number to the first inlet, the hot inlet, the number will automatically go inside this one and then go through to the outlet. And by if you put the number in the right hand side of the inlet, that's the code inlet, that number will store inside this particular object. It will maintain there until you put in a band in the first inlet. So it band the first inlet. That number will be produced through the outlet. So we make use of this delay in the passing the value. So once we have the value produced from the outlet of the float that is a variable, we put it into the inlet, the hot inlet of a plus size, that's a plot operation. So once the value is plus over there, so it's kind of addition, and then you fill in the result of the addition back to the code inlet of the float. So essentially, you would do something like an accumulation. So whenever you press a band in the, in the hot inlet, you essentially call an addition of that particular number. So we can have a look like this one. We put a band over here. And then we put the result over here. And one missing thing is you would like to put in a number in the second inlet of the plus operation. So this number will define how much you would like to add to the original number. So we can have a look of this particular operation. At this point, if you press the band, so the operation is initially this particular float contains a zero value. And every time you press the band, it will add the zero value from here to the original value zero. And then store the value both to this number box and also to the code inlet of the float objects. And if you have a chance, for example, to change this number into one, and then continuously to press this band, you will see the accumulation of the number each time by the value 1. And if you put in, for example, minus 1 over here, so every time the number will decrease. You can say put in decimal number, say 1.1. And at this point, it will increase 
by 1.1 every time you press in the bank. So we'll make use of this one to construct the position of the Winnie the Pooh graphic objects. So that means whenever we press on this one, of course we do not need to press it by our mouse or your fingers. We'll use a metal block to automatically press over here. So every time the position will increase by a certain number. And by carefully control the number of this box, we can control the speed of the moving of the graphics. So the complete operation will be something like this one. We have this number initially zero, and this one also zero. And you also need to remember there will be a hidden number stored inside over here. And it is not clear at this point of time. It's still a number over here. So whenever you press in again, that number appears right over here. So the operation is we have a number which indicates the current position of your graphics, like the x-coordinate position, the horizontal one. And we would like to use this one to minus or to compare with the last position. So we use set negative size a minus to compare the position of your graphics, which is come from the inlet. That is your exercise with the exposition obtained by the by the pix block command, and then we would like to minus this number with those you you store over there. After you do the minus, we also would like to do a division. So the division is actually the way we slow down the movement. So if you put in a number like 5, you expect using 5 frames to catch up with the new position. If you use, for example, like 10 frames, division by 10, you expect to use 10 frames to catch up with the new position. So this number, the larger one, you have a slower movement, and the smaller one, like 1, so expect to catch up immediately. So we stay with the number, for example, 5. And this number, after the division by 5, we would like to use it to feedback to the position over here. So that means for every frame, you would like to increase the location of the object by uh, one-fifth of the difference between the old and the new position. So this is the key concept we would like to achieve. So if we try to create a complete form, we would like to use, for example, a trigger in order to enhance the response. The first trigger will be a band, and this band will call a change or an operation of the minus operation. And the second one will be the position, which we update. Will be around here. And then the last one is actually the one you send out from, from the patch. So we will use it a number over here to have a look. So this is basically a form of operation we would like to complete is by using the difference between the old and the new position divided by a certain number and then for each of the frame we increase the position the current position to the new one by 
one fifth, so which is indicated by five over here. So we can have a look of the presentation of this one. So I close it in order to clear the value over here. So assume initially we have the zero over here, and then again this is also zero. And from some point of time the position changes. So that means the for example if your user move in front of your camera, so the block tracking will indicate a new position. So that position, for example, can be upon at number five. So once you have the point number five it will perform the calculation over here. The 5 minus the original one is 0. So it's equal to 5 divided by 5 over 1. So after the 1 over here, so you perform the calculation. And after a while, you will notice the change. The number over here will approach 5 in a much slower way. So in the very beginning, it will come over to, for example, one fifth of the difference of the distance. So for example, there's one unit. And then after a while, the distance will be shorter and shorter and shorter. Okay, so at this point, if your objects of the user move again, for example, if you move back to a value like number 2, and it will automatically calculate the new difference in the distance divided by 5 is a negative number, so it's moving in the opposite direction. And after a while, it will come to a stable point which approaches the new position. So essentially, if you move again, you have a new value over here. And after a period of time, the, the objects, the Winnie the Pool, will settle with the new position. So it's not in a very linear, a strict way, but in some form of decreasing the speed of the movement, which is done by, for example, by using the Comparison is a minus sign and a division by a number 5. And the bank over here is actually triggered by the metro box, which will cause the bank to trigger in a very short period of time, like for example in a 50 milliseconds or even in a more shorter period. So those are the features we would like to implement by putting in both this one for the X and this one for the Y and the send out the new X and new Y which is used to control the new position of the graphics. So this is a form of computation we might come across later which will use which is kind of useful in a way we can manipulate the change or the speed of the movement of our graphics. So we come back to this here, and actually this is the, the way we implement the operation. We have the X, we have the Y, we have the metro, and the last one is the reset parameter. We we'll put in all those zero into the, the velocity box of the slow move operation.
So this is the way it operates. The Winnie the Pooh, the Pooh season, and the Moving Pant, the new Pooh season. And at every frame, they will compute the difference and divide it by five. And that particular number will be added to the original Pooh season of Winnie the Pooh in order to compute the new one. And that will be the function of that particular command slow move, which is implemented outside of this particular patch in a separate sub-patch we called. 